Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 39. Today we're going to look at Vagrant and we're going to look at adding a custom domain to your Vagrant install. First, though, I want to encourage you to join me on Facebook. I actually post uh, all of the stuff I normally do, but also post a bunch of extra stuff like uh, Pippin's Plugins is doing a series on plugins or other articles that I find throughout the week. So you only get that if you're on Facebook. So last time we installed Vagrant with varying Vagrant Vagrants from 10 up. And all we did was use the stock installs. This time what we're going to do is install Vagrant again, but we're going to use our own domain called Fancy Domain. So what I've already done is I have downloaded with git clone the repository for varying Vagrant Vagrants and I've already changed directory and terminal into it. So if I type, you can see I'm in Dropbox sites. Fancy domain is what I want to call it. And so I haven't started this machine up yet. And the first thing I need to do is I am going to create a new database. To do that, I need to go into database and list the files. So this file that we're concerned with is called init-custom.sql.sample and what we want to do is rename that uh, to init-custom.sql. We'll do that by typing cp and then we will call it its new name and that is just telling terminal to copy it. Now we want to open it so I'm going to type mvim which is macvim in my case in it, uh, and it opened up on my other screen. So what we're looking looking at here is just the custom SQL commands that will get run when we start our site. So I'm going to jump to line 12 right away. First thing I need to do is create my database, and I'm just going to call it Fancy Domain because that's the site we're pretending to work with. I'm going to paste that and I'm just going to call everything fancy domain and the reason I do that is because this is local so I'm not really concerned about security it's only going to be running when I'm working on it and I'm going to make the password fancy domain as well so I've created my database in line 12 and line 13 I grant all privilege on my database called fancy domain to the user fancy domain at localhost and the password is fancy domain that's all I have to do there our next step is to edit the nginx configuration files. So here I'm going to go to change directory config, nginx config, and I actually need to go into sites. In here we have a couple different files, default config, devtesting.com config, and the local nginx. That's the one that we're worried about first is the cp. So we'll do a cp and we're going to call it local dot c and I'm just going to name it the exact same thing as I want my custom domain to be and then we are going to open it again with macvim and here our important lines are a little lower so we're going to need to look at line 28 to start and well, let's look at this file. What this file does is on line 25 it tells Nginx to listen on port 80 and it tells what server name to listen for and then what folder to send those requests to. So we're going to change that to local fancy and then we're going to change it to the folder and that's it. Now what Nginx will do is when it gets a request for local Dot fancy domain dot com. It's going to send that to the folder fancy domain. Now, another thing we have to do is we have to edit our own personal hosts file. So I'm going to do that with sudo and remember sudo is super user do means you can wreck lots of stuff and this is going to ask me for my password. But in 
mountain lion, it's under private, etc. hosts. I'm asking for my password. And let's expand this just a bit. As you can see, I've actually done a couple other domains here. In our first screencast, we added local.wordpress.dev, local.wordpress-trunk.dev, and then I've added some other ones. So all I'm going to do is add my new one, which is local fancy domain.com and all that was doing was telling it that my computer that any requests go to that IP and that IP corresponds to vagrant so now I'm going to change directory back up a couple oh, and I'm too far no one more actually so now I am in the, let's clear, we can go find out our directory structure again, and I am now in the root fancy domain. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to just run Vagrant up. I said this hasn't been set up before, so this is again gonna download the 300 megabytes, which I will spare you from watching all 300 megabytes come down. It's gonna run our custom SQL query that we set up, and it's gonna set Nginx to listen on those domains we want. Once this is up, we'll start the screencast again and take a look. All right, so we are all booted up now. And I'm just gonna grab this. And we were in fancy domain. There's one more thing we need to do. So I'm gonna copy or duplicate. I'm not actually sure if you can do this if you're not using Total Finder, but I'm going to duplicate WordPress default. I'm not sure why it's calling it zip, so why don't we just do this from the command line? Or why don't I even start over? All right, we are all booted up now. So if we look over here, you remember that this starts WordPress default, WordPress trunk, and has WordPress unit tests and WPCLI. Now what we don't have is a folder called uh, fancy domain. So I'm gonna go in terminal, and then I'm going to go CP, Oh, cp-r which is recursive and I'm going to call it fancy main and if we look over here we now have a folder called fancy domain something else we want to do is delete the WP config file so now we can open up Chrome and I'm going to go to local.fancydomain.com slash wp-admin. And here we go. We need a WordPress configuration file. And now we just click let's go. And remember we were fancy domain. And we'll leave it as localhost. Remember, since we are local, we're not going to worry about the table prefix. Typically, you'd want to change this to something custom as well. And click Submit. And run the install. Now we put up our site title, and we'll call it Fancy Domain. I just copy admin and make it admin admin because again I am local not something you want to do when you're in development and I'll put in my email address and then click install and now we have our standard login page so we can click login and remember the password we set up was admin admin There we go. We've now set up a custom domain with Nginx and done a custom WordPress install for our client. Thanks for watching.